Hello all. Uh, today our topic is uh, MSc by research and is it worth it? So there are different uh, kinds of master's degree. Uh, for example, MSc which is a general master's degree. Then we have MSc by research and we have uh, MRS. So in general, the master's in UK is uh, one year duration. There are some masters with two year duration where the second year is simply industry. So today we'll focus on MSc by research, a research degree. So uh, the structure of this program is that it is uh, one year full of research. There are no courses, no exams. At the end of the uh, at the end of the degree, you need to write a thesis and defend your research to get uh, to obtain the degree. So a uh, first important question you need to ask is why do you want to do this? Uh, MSc by research so if you want to do uh, a PhD then it makes sense uh, to start with MSc by research for example uh, you want to do a PhD but you are not sure whether to commit your next three or four years uh, doing a PhD maybe you can go uh, get a job instead so in such cases you can start with MSc by research and uh, um, do the research for one year if you think that this is working and this is what you want to do then you can extend it to phd it is a, it is possible but you, you first need to discuss with your supervisor okay now let us suppose uh, you do want to uh, do msc by research and what are the important points you need to uh, remember consider before you apply to a phd uh, to a msc by research one important point is supervisor in any research degree supervisor and the student and your relation is really important so depending on that it can make or break a research degree uh, to do research you need a lot of patience and a lot of communication with the supervisor so this is one of the important points uh, so that's the reason when you are applying for these degrees it is important that you communicate more with the supervisor and see whether you can work together okay and another important question uh, another important point you need to consider is research problem so uh, because this is a one year degree you can't have some ambitious project and complete it in one year in, in, within one year so you need to choose a problem where you can make some progress and still uh, get the degree and if you want to extend it, you can extend it later as a PhD, but that is for the later. First, you need to uh, focus on the specifications of this degree. And, uh, and the important question, is it worth it? Well, I personally took a education loan from India and then went to Swansea University in UK and then I did my uh, MSc by research. But, uh, well, it did help me to get the, uh, uh, to learn the academic skills that I'm missing before research skills and uh, get a good PhD position in a host university. So it, it really depends on you. But uh, if you do want to do a PhD and if you are uh, doing your MSCB research under a good supervisor, I definitely think it is worth it. However, if you are still unsure, there, are, there is a similar uh, degree called MRES where it has a balance between the research and courses too. So the ratio is some, something 80 to 20. So 80% of time you will spend on doing the research and 20% of time you will do the courses. So in this way, if you think that the research is not, uh, not your thing, you can simply apply to colleges with these uh, credits in these courses and still it is valid so you can consider MRES as well uh, so i hope this is useful for you and if you want to learn uh, if you want to know a little bit more uh, about msc by research or related uh, master's programs uh, let me know um, i will make a, another follow-up follow video thank you